Game day is quickly approaching on campuses around the nation, and we have a show today that showcases some of the biggest names on the field this season. Last year, the Arkansas Razorbacks won the SEC West on the way to a 10-win season. A big reason for that success was the play of Darren McFadden. The man they called D-Mac and run DMC didn't waste any time showing his moves in Fayetteville, as this run in Razorback will be the talk of the college football world this season. He is the leading candidate to join other SEC legends like Steve Spurrier, Herschel Walker. He's running over people! Oh, you Herschel Walker! And Bo Jackson as winners of the Heisman Trophy. McFadden, big play! He's gonna go! 80 yards for the touchdown! Up the middle, McFadden's got room! He's gonna throw! Monk is wide open! Touchdown, Arkansas! Darren McFadden's gonna take it all the way! Touchdown, Arkansas! Arkansas's Darren McFadden was the runner-up last year in the Heisman voting as a sophomore. But don't plan on a repeat trip to the downtown club in New York just yet. Just because I was second in the Heisman last year, I know they're not going to call me up to New York and just hand it to me. I know that I'm going to go, I'm gonna have to go, do, go through my offseason, go through my summer workouts, go through my season. I'm going to have to perform every day. Darren has been performing since he first stepped foot on the Fayetteville campus. McFadden across midfield. McFadden's going to go. 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Arkansas! He ran for over 1,100 yards in his first season with the Hogs and was a freshman All-American. He followed that up with over 2,000 all-purpose yards, 1,600 on the ground. He was a first-team All-American last year while being named the Doak Walker Award winner as college football's best running back. But McFadden added a new position, one that worked to perfection. Darren McFadden in the Wildcat formation will take the snap. McFadden throws, touchdown Arkansas! Darren McFadden throws for the touchdown, and the Razorbacks have struck quickly here in the second half. It's called the Wildcat package, and McFadden, the quarterback, lit up defenses for seven touchdowns in just 36 plays last year. Darren McFadden is busting loose and his future looks bright. What we've been telling him is, hey, we're watching you every day. Danny's going to watch you every single day to make sure that uh, you don't be anybody but Darren McFadden. And Darren McFadden is always been a guy that goes to school. He turns in his homework. He goes to class. He's in the weight room. He's in study hall. And don't change. Don't change your work ethic. Don't change your attitude. Change, though, is something McFadden had to do growing up in Little Rock. Once upon a time, I didn't think he was going to make it. He was always in trouble, so either at school or just in the neighborhood being bad. I was bad. I'm, there's no way of putting it around. I was bad. I was, um, teachers probably used to hate to see me coming because that's how bad I was in um, school coming up. McFadden is the 10th of 12 children, but he found his way with the help of his family and a middle school teacher. Darren was just a normal 7th grade boy. He was, um, not real interested in doing his schoolwork. He was not real interested in anything but, you know, running around and being a seventh grade boy. I think that finally he decided that it would be worth it to just do his work as opposed to having to sit and, and listen to me fuss and nag and, and yell at him. After he got up to ninth grade, he just realized what he wanted to do and he went on with uh, trying to achieve it. As I got older, you know, things started um, lining up for me and I was seeing People see me down and talk to me like, you can do this playing football, you can do that. All you gotta do is get your grades and go to school. So I feel like that was more motivation than anything. And that's all he needed. McFadden was a parade All-American at Pulaski Oak Grove High School and was rated as one of the best athletes in the nation. He was magnificent, you know. I said, look at that boy, look at that boy run. Cause then they, didn't, they couldn't stop him. You know, the regular school, high school kids, they couldn't stop him, and sometimes he just run from the whole field. There was little doubt that McFadden would end up a running Razorback. Well, for me, it's like a dream come to, you know, because um, you grow up watching Arkansas football your whole life, and then you finally get to step on, step foot on campus. Arkansas loves Darren McFadden. He's their hero right now. 
This is Jamal's aunt. How you doing? Pam McFadden. She loves you. How you doing? It's hard for McFadden to go anywhere without people calling out number five, whether he's in his neighborhood park. Can I get a picture with you? Yeah. You know, cool. I'm going to tell you. Get a picture with you now. My boy. Or down at the Peabody Hotel. It's a wonderful, I'm so happy for you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> but you keep up good work. Yes, ma'am. Because you're doing a good job. Yes, ma'am. Keep your head up. Don't let nobody tell you nothing. Because you got to be on my Yes, ma'am. I got you. Riley, always wanted to meet you. Okay. You hey. doing all right? <laughs> That's great. Or even in the state capitol where McFadden was honored this past spring. For any kid that's growing up how I did in the neighborhoods, growing up rough, things like that, you get there and you just be overwhelmed about it because you know you always pass by the state capitol and see and things like, you know, a lot of stuff going there, but then you inside there being toured around, all these different people want to meet you and things like, it's like a dream come true for you. I was so happy it wasn't funny. If I'd have been 20 pounds light, I'd have did reverse flips. <laughs> so, I was back there grinning. <laughs> Had a big old smile on my face, probably bigger than I got now. <laughs> you know? He appeared on a Nickelodeon show over the summer while also literally driving the bus for a preseason magazine cover. But when it comes right down to it, the college football megastar would rather be someplace else. <laughs> These genuine hugs. I'm man. <laughs> Come on, I ain't gonna move this time. You wanna be on the camera, Poo Poo? Huh? Where you going, Poo? Nope, you're not going nowhere. Uh uh. <laughs> The nieces and nephews love him, you know, cause he's fun loving and, you know, it's like, they all run to him, Uncle D-Dog, Uncle D-Dog, you know. I think she's still gonna outrun me, but I, I know, I know that's a lie. <laughs> I know it is. I understand everybody proud of me and stuff and um, all the things I'd accomplished. So it, it's all, it's just a great honor, you know, for people to be proud of, you know. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> See, you like that, huh? <laughs> I can't begin to express how proud I am, you know, because it's an overwhelming feeling, and it'd be like, that's my baby, you know, that's my son, you know. Well, I'm more proud of him as a young man than a football player because I think he handled himself very well uh, academically, personally, and everything like that, you know, so I'm basically more proud of him like, as a person than I am a football player. It's easy to see that Darren McFadden bleeds Arkansas red, and he's got a family of hog fans that will always be behind him. So go hog and do like this. Go hog. <laughs>